hello everyone today in this video i will tell you about a 10 kilowatt system how it is all erected and commissioned so here is the site in hubli karnataka and this is a building for state bank of india a small branch where they maintain their server for their atms so here we will install a 10 kilowatt structure so we start with the structure work it is done by GI pipe it's a customized structure means it's not prefabricated we have purchased it from local market and fabricated it and here inside the premises we are going to install the inverter so we have cleaned up the place here is the incoming bus bar box where the DG set and the incoming line is all connected with the load so we are planning the inverter next to it and we have made a hole from where the DC wire from the panel will come here so we are going to install the inverter somewhere here only so we will install the meter we will make some hole in the wall so once the hole is made we will simply mount the inverter on the wall so all the ACDB, DCDB and the inverter is properly mounted, grounded on the wall. Now other thing is the connection for the ACDB, DCDB and the inverter from the PV. So here is your inverter and I am planning to bring the wire from this side. On the top portion I will bring all the DC cable from the terrace. And from here the AC cable will go inside the load box. Here you can see all the relay and control systems for the whole building. So the today the weather is good. Not means not good for solar generation, but we have completed our structure work on the state bank building. So now all the PV modules are mounted on the structure. This is 315 watt Trina solar polycrystalline panels. And I'm going to distribute 16 16 panels in two arrays so all the panels are now connected in series it's a bright sunny day and 16 16 32 i'm gonna connect it to the inverters so there will be four wires going down towards the inverter plus minus plus minus and we'll connect it with the inverter you can see the specification you can pause the video and have a look at the specification of the panel this is Trina solar 325 watt yo okay sorry this is 325 watt I was talking about some other project I, I got confused sorry so I have labeled the two arrays one with one red tape and this one with two red tapes so that I can refer in the future that which array is connected with which of the MPPTs so from here the DC wire is going inside the room and you can see I have done some earthing work for the structure so that is also grounded in case of lightning falls on the structure this is also connected with the lightning arrester at the same time so the panels are all mounted now we come from here the DC wire is coming inside the building and we have properly mounted the pipe with uh, clamp plastic clamps so here the DC4 DC wires are going inside the DC DB you can see which are the positive and the negative wire I have uh, labeled with the red tape one tape first array two red tape second array so once these wire enter inside the DC DB you have the 1000 volt 32 amps DC fuse and the surging arrester surging arrester is very important in case of there is some short circuit in the DC side this will burn the surge arrester and rest of your device will be protected same as the work for the DC fuse and you have a regulator to turn it on and off okay from here the wire is going inside the earthing pit this is a separate earthing I have done for the DCDB DCDB and ACDB are separately earth so here is the bus bar which is coming for the earthing so I have connected the inverter and the DCDB to the earthing bus bar 
and also now you can see the DC wire is going inside the inverter so now I will turn the inverter on there is a knock mechanism now the inverter has started and it is showing here it is okay model number and all these things now I'll knock it and it the LCD will turn on now you can see the generated energy today is 0 kilowatt since it is a grid connected inverter so it is not showing any production since the grid is not connected right now okay so this is the system setup till here and just now it is not connected with the grid here is the specification of that GrowVat inverter now I am installing the Wi-Fi dongle so that I can monitor the health of the system online on an Android app which is this one is provided by GrowVat this has to be synced with a router running condition and then you can it will be broadcast on your mobile so here is the control panel which on which we are going to connect the load from where we'll get the feed in for our AC box so that a grid inverter can start so these are for the pumps and we are going to connect it for the ground floor so this box is here you can see all the voltmeter ammeter and the three phase light which is normally provided in any of the systems so this is the panel and they have distributed the load in different different sections for their pumps for their ground floor for their lift and all these things uh, but we are going to connect the load on the ground floor that is for the lightning lighting fans and all these things this is an extra chamber for meter this is the GFL that is the ground floor level and we are going to connect it here only and this one is the control box for the lift so we'll connect it in the GFLs